Hello and welcome again. In previous videos, I've been explaining how to install advertisement to your blogger, blogger.com. In this video, I'll be explaining how to uh, change a theme or template within a blogger. It's uh, quite easy. All you're going to do is just first we need to find a template. So we're just going to search for, you got so many free templates to download anyway. Just type in, uh, example, free, sorry, free. Uh, blogger uh, templates which we got just there and then we can we got so many as I mentioned however I'm just gonna go and click on some of them and then once you find the template example so far uh, we're just gonna check the design and uh, okay we're just gonna view that uh, the, the the design at the moment is this one here which you can see however I want to change that so I'm gonna go to find some okay so just click in to get some and I'll be downloading first once I download the template and if I like it basically I'm gonna use that so let me just go to this one it looks quite basic and a nice one as well so you can go and preview that so you can have a look how it looks like before you install it so this is the template now, what we're going to do is we're going to click on download. I just don't want to make it too confusing for you. And then save. So I'm going to save it on the desktop. Okay, so it's this one here. Now, when you open, click uh, one more time. All you need to uh, copy is this one here. When it says in the end is XML file, this is the one you need. So just drag and drop into desktop. Okay, so then you can easily remove everything else because we don't really need it. Now, since this, is, uh, this file is XML file, when you try to open, it may confuse you. So what you gotta do is just right click, click on open with, and then I just wanna open with a notepad basically. It's easy step. Okay, so I'm copying the entire code. Now, go to your blogger, click on uh, theme, click on edit, you can go other way by just going uploading, but instead of going that way, this is the fastest way anyway. So select the entire text and just click anywhere you want inside this and just click on paste. That's all you need to do. So you've seen that the code has changed automatically because I've copied and pasted some other uh, code uh, or layout from another theme. And now click on save theme. Okay. Now go to layout. Just refresh it once. Leave page because that's what we want, because we have saved everything, we want to leave it. Click on Save, and then click on View. Now, when we view, basically a new theme has been installed. Now, how to change the menu and whatever is in here, it's easy. Just go to um, Theme again, go to Edit HTML, because we want to change the top bit, which is the menu. And all you're going to do is just click on, uh, select the, in your keyboard, CTRL, and hold that, okay, and click F. When you click on F, you can see the layer kind of search um, window, I can say, it, it opens automatically. All you're going to do is just click on, select menu, sorry, and then hit enter on your keyboard once, and then it goes to the menu, first menu, we don't need that. Gonna go to second one, third one, fourth, five till we go to the menu, and we will see it because it's easy to find out. Okay, there are so many menus. However, in this case, um, we're gonna find the one we need to change. Okay, so I'm just gonna go there, and here we have. Now, as you can see here, we have uh, about contact use and uh, disclaimer, HTML convert, and so many. Now, just have a look around and see what this is. So we have contact form, disclaimer, privacy policy, sitemap, term of service. Uh, this, it looks like is this one here. So all you're gonna do is just change, you add URL in here, and you can add here anywhere, anything you want. Once you click on save, this will be changed. However, if you wanna change the menu, uh, at the top, which is this one here, and basically this is the menu. Example, you can go and create uh, pages. And this page, just go and view page, and then copy URL in the top. So when you create a page, example, if I create a page about use, then when you view that, it's going to be uh, blogger.com forward slash 
the name of your blog then forward slash about use so then you copy the entire URL and you can just come he uh, come here and then paste select that and then paste right here okay uh, in this case I pass uh, I pasted too many things anyway but I'm just trying to describe so once you paste in here then you need to name this you can name the menu about use just like that and then you click on save theme when you view it basically it's going to show up now I'm just going back for a second example I'm going to go to the Facebook and I just want to add the example my Facebook page so I'm my Facebook page is this one here so one pound service.com so facebook.com forward slash one pound service and uh, just gonna paste somewhere right there right and just gonna type in here follow me on Facebook then I'm gonna save now I'm gonna view it and it should change here follow me on Facebook when I click okay just like that right so it looks like I'm gonna need to add here as well uh, just type in FB or Facebook and let's just reload again so when I go here uh, this is the Facebook when clickable it goes to one pound service basically uh, to my Facebook uh, page so you can add anything in here you can add your pages from your blog you can add another website if you're promoting you can add affiliate basic links in here if you're promoting uh, any anything really you can add you can take user where you want to take them so this is how it works with the menu and the rest and that's how you install advertisement another one is many people they want to um, remove um, all this copyright uh, in the end to a particular theme so it's easy uh, this should be in the end of the theme always it sort of goes in the end so if you just scroll down like this you will see sometimes if you can't find if you find really hard to find it uh, it's easy just go uh, just go here click on design by okay paste it here and just hit enter and then it should take you directly to to the post so this is the designed by and it highlights basically to tell you that is that one so you can change this designed by and then uh, paste here your url and then i'm just going to remove that for the moment you can change title to whatever you want to just don't forget to don't delete this uh, whatever any blanket or anything is you just delete the text as far as you delete the text it should be absolutely fine not entire text but the code is different the code you don't need to change it by any other text or url you can change it so you can change that you can change all this um uh, alina design and then distributed by you can add something else you can change the, the next url to follow you into facebook and then another one on youtube and so on and on so that's when in the end just click on save when you view or you reload the page, you can see that the entire text on the footer area has been changed into whatever you want yourself. So that's how you make changes in a the theme. Uh, but if you don't mind basically to leave, uh, to sort of give a credit to this designer, then you can leave a credit uh, as it is. However, if you want to change it, just leave it sort of everything about your site and your affiliate links or your you know facebook page or anything you really want to take user to then basically you can do this is how you change it i hope this video helps thanks for watching this video if you'd like to subscribe that'll be great uh, basically because i'm going to be creating more videos like this uh, videos different type of it's not going to be just about blogger and how to design but it's going to be about how to make money online and so many other ways so i'm trying really hard to work on and create a couple of videos just so you uh, to basically um, do my bit to help others on the internet. Thanks for watching this video.